Good day, A-teamers. It is Aaron. It is Thursday night. It's one of our jackpot nights. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to go over uh, one of our tip of the weeks. This is going to be our new tip of the week video for this week. And this week, uh, we're going to go over how we organize all of our tackle. Um, as you as fishermen know, it is, it is important to keep all of your tackle organized. You know, whether that be if you have a small tackle box, you know, organizing by trays, or if you have a lot of tackle like we do in a boat, and need a whole bunch of different small tackle boxes and different things for all the different lures that you have. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of what we're going to go over. I, I'm going to start with um, how we organize most of our hard baits, uh, such as topwaters, crankbaits, spinnerbaits, buzzbaits, uh, things like that. So how we organize those is we have these really good Plano boxes. We're starting to switch over to brand new, uh, these are brand new Planos. Uh, I think these are the 3740s, I believe is what they are. Uh, it's got this nice seal all the way around it and these clamps that lock the lid shut. It's an airtight, watertight. Uh, this is Andy's crankbait box, uh, along with a couple of uh, jigs and a couple of top waters. Uh, but this is how we love to organize this. This box, these Planos are great. Uh, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different compartments. Um, and these lures really don't get all snagged together in here. You really don't have to worry about that too much. So, when, as you guys know, it's really nice to be able to go to a tackle box and be able to just pull something out of it and not pull the whole, uh, all of your crankbaits out of one box. So, this is a great way to organize most of your hard baits. Now, when it comes to soft plastics, uh, we like to do things a little bit different. So I've got a I've got a bag here. Uh, it's just a just a little bag I got from uh, from the school where I'm teaching at, and I didn't have any other use for it. So I made use of it by putting it in or putting all my soft plastics in it. Uh, and how we like to organize our soft plastics is we like to use big Ziploc bags. Okay, this bag busted open on us, so we got to get a new one here sometime. But this bag. Uh, this is just a gallon Ziploc bag. If we need to, we'll probably buff up to the two gallon, the bigger, the bigger ones. Uh, but this, in this bag right here, we just have rods and jig trailer. That's all we have in this plastic bag. Um, looks like one fell out here. But that's all we have in this bag. It's just rods and jig, jig trailers. Then, in another bag here, we've got uh, all of our creature baits. We use a lot of creature baits, so we have a lot of creature baits on hand. So. That's another big thing for us. And then we have uh, some finesse and some chunks, uh, some stuff we might use in winter or in the hottest summer, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, so that was our finesse bag uh, for our summertime and wintertime pattern. And then we just kind of got a little miscellaneous bag uh, in here as well. So that's kind of how we like to organize all of our stuff. Um, you know, if, if you're just a bank beater, uh, which we 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 fish quite a bit off of a bank around pits and ponds and stuff and <clears throat> you know even a small bag is great to have so let me put all this stuff back in here so what we're doing when we're fishing is this small bag we have here we keep it out and we just keep the stuff that we're throwing the stuff that's relevant uh, for the time of year the day what we're doing so this time of year we've got creatures on top of creatures on top of creatures and a few jig trailers here and there so that's kind of how we like to keep our stuff organized. Uh, I would say if you don't have your plastics organized with the Ziploc bags, you need to do so. I mean, especially if you have quite a bit like we do. Uh, it's a great way to keep everything organized, keep everything straight, because you've got to know what you have, and you've got to be able to get to it when you need it. So there's your tip of the week. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel, like the Instagram page, follow us on Facebook, and everything. So we'll catch you guys next week.